let us see mathematics grade 6 chapter 2 lines and angles learning objectives after this session we will be able to identify and explain special types of angles and categorize angles based on their types special type of angles whenever we open our notebook we will observe this cover rotation so what we will observe a folded notebook when we will open it will become 180 degrees so in this case we will observe that arms of the angles formed they lie in a straight line such an angle is called straight angle here as shown in the figure this AB is a straight line the angle formed this one is a straight angle right angle a right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees it is formed when two lines or line segments are perpendicular to each other as shown in the picture there are the two lines let us assume AB is a line one line and this again PQ is a another line which is perpendicular the angle formed here is 90 degree this we call this is right angle let us see question number one of figure it out how many right angles do the windows of your classroom contain do you see as other right angles in your classroom generally window will be in the rectangle or square form therefore we observe this there are four right angles as denoted in the picture angle 1 here is 90 degrees angle 2 is also 90 degrees angle 3 is also 90 degrees angle 4 is also 90 degrees therefore a window has four right angles and those are angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 yes we do observe this right angles at the corners of the door and at corners of blackboard etc these are in our classroom observations let us see question number two join a to other grid points in the figure by a straight line to get a straight angle so what are the different ways of doing it here as shown in the given picture they have given a b as a straight angle similarly the second picture also we can let us draw in this other way here this is the way what we have drawn which is a straight angle straight angle is nothing but 180 degrees angle question number three now join a to other grid points in the figure by a straight line to get a right angle what are the different ways of doing it see here the first picture a b is they have given so we are considering the a b in this we have drawn one more perpendicular let us assume this as a a c then this will be 90 degrees similarly the other one is towards the down tail which we draw this is this 90 degrees for this second picture a b so we are denoting it in this third picture of this so a b and we have drawn one angle perpendicular this is 90 degrees similarly the fourth one a b is one line and this one more line is there here this is 90 degrees let us see question number 4 figure it get a slanting crease on the paper now try to get another crease that is perpendicular to the slanting crease how many right angles do you have justify why the angles are exact right angles describe how you folded the paper so that any other person who doesn't know the process can simply follow your description to get the right angle see we have taken a one paper first step next one slanting way we have folded like as observed in this with this line similarly other one we have folded 90 degrees so the paper is folded as shown in the picture so the angles are right angles because the angles in a straight line this one is a 180 degrees first next the perpendicular bisector for this one it divides each angle into 90 degrees so the perpendicular for this straight angle is 90 degrees thus we get four right angles as shown in the figure the process is we will have taken a paper and folded in a slanting way as shown in the figure then refold it in such a way that the second folded line is perpendicular to the first one now we get four right angles as shown in the figure let us see classification of angles angles can be classified into this four ways one is acute angle second one is a right angle third one is obtuse angle fourth one is a straight angle acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees the first picture have this different 
values of this acute angle fixture is less than 90 degrees. Whatever the all the angle fixture, these are the models of the fixture, this all are acute angles. Second one, right, right angle, an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. In the second picture, all these are the examples for this right angles. Wherever we take, this angle is 90 degrees because two lines are perpendicular to each other. The third picture, it has obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. All these angles are examples for this obtuse angles. The fourth one is a straight angle. Straight angle is by default it is a 180 degree it's a straight line. Let us see question number one in the figure it out of the making rotating arms and the special types of angles. Identify acute, right, obtuse and straight angles in the previous figure. As we have observed this one, the first figure is this acute angle and the second one is this right angle, third one is obtuse angle and the fourth one is a straight angle. Let us see question number two. Make a few acute angles and a few obtuse angles and draw them in different orientations. See, we have taken the first one. So, these are the acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. The second one is also acute and angle. This third one is also acute angle. This we have changed the orientation. And this is also an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. Next, few obtuse angle. Here, let us try an obtuse angle here. Then, orientation we have changed in this. This is an also obtuse angle. The third one is also obtuse angle. Fourth one is also obtuse angle. Let us see question number three. Do you know what the words acute and obtuse mean? Acute means sharp and obtuse means blunt. Why do you think that these words have been chosen? Solution. The word acute means sharp. The what is acute? Acute angle appears a sharp edge which gives the angle less than 90 degrees. For example, here we are drawing a line here. If we see A, B, this is a C, A, C. So, this is an acute because the angle is less than 90 degrees here. This is, it means it indicates this is a sharp edge. The edge of this word, the vertex of this one is a sharp edge. Similarly, obtuse angle. The term obtuse means blunt. And the vertex of an obtuse angle forms a blunt tip, producing an acute up, producing angles greater than 90 degrees. For example, here, we are drawing PQR. If we observe, the tip of this one is blunt. Then this is always will be up to his angle. Question number 4. Find out the number of acute angles in each of the figures below. What will be the next figure and how many acute angles will it have? Do you notice any pattern in the number? The figures given in this one here, there are the 3. Yes, in the first figure, there are 3 acute angles. In the second figure, the number of acute angles increases by 9. So, 3 plus 9, 12. Here, in this one, 3 plus 9 is 12. In the third figure, the number of acute angle again, it will be increases by 9. So, 12 plus 9, it will be having 21 acute angles. Therefore, the number of acute angles in the next figure will be increased by 9. So, 21 plus 9 is 30. So, we will be having 30 acute angles. The pattern followed is an increase of 9 angles each time, plus 9, plus 9. Thank you.